Hey guys, Matt and Pete here from Crunch Time Coaching, and we're talking a little bit of Wimbledon 2017 and a little bit of tennis elbow right now. But first, the big news, Petra Kvitova is out, but you know what? After her injury, she got stabbed in the hand, she had surgery on her hand, her playing hand. It's pretty amazing that she was able to win in Eastbourne for Wimbledon and win her first round at Wimbledon. And you know, she, she couldn't grip all the way with her, with her playing hand. She couldn't make a fist. It was a real struggle for her. But I was talking to Pete, you know, we could actually uh, learn from that. A lot of rec players, they grip the racket too tight, so tight that it causes tennis elbow for them. Another thing that causes tennis elbow is not warming up correctly. Exactly. So you guys can click right here and download my totally free tennis elbow specific dynamic warm up. Don't let tennis elbow hurt your game. And the other thing you can do is not grip the racket too tight. Now Petra Kvitova, in her case, she couldn't grip the racket too tight. It's literally impossible for her now because she can't even make a fist, but she's still able to win matches. What do you think of that? Well, absolutely, Matt. Like we were said, we were talking about this on the phone, and we were thinking this could be a good thing for some of our recreational players out there. Obviously, what happened to her yeah. is not good. But the idea of not holding the racket super tight is a very powerful thing to be able to do on the court. So many of my students, when I'm teaching them, they have the death grip on the racket. They're white knuckling that racket, especially when you get super nervous. So one of the things that I like to teach is the hit and handoff move, and that's gonna help you from being so tight. Especially as people anticipate the contact coming in, they tighten up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start loose. You almost want some space between your hand and the handle. That loose I want you to be. Do a couple of shadow strokes and practice hitting and handing off to the other side, and then have a friend or a coach feed you some balls, and every time you're hitting, you're doing that hit and handoff move. Let's demo a couple. All right, so one of the best ways to practice this with your coach, friend, hitting partner, whoever, is just a simple drop feed. So I'm gonna make sure I stand far enough so Pete's not gonna whack me with the racket, and extend my arm out and just drop it for him. So right after contact and the follow through, grab with the other hand, keep it loose. That was a good one. That was a really blast one. Woo! So even when Pete is crushing that ball, he's still keeping the grip nice and loose. It's great, it's a great tip. It works all the time. Go out and try it. But Matt, what should they do before they get to the court? You know, this is a great tip for avoiding tennis elbows, not squeezing the racket grip too tight. Another great tip is warm up correctly. And if you want to learn how to warm up correct correctly, click right here and download my totally free tennis elbow specific dynamic warm up. Don't let tennis elbow hurt your game. Yeah, absolutely. One thing that we've actually been getting calls on, Matt, mm -hmm. today we've got this Cincinnati trip, the Masterclass Clinic, super looking forward to it. But this is the second person that had to pull out with tennis elbow. And they're saying, I really wanna go, but my elbow hurts too much. So if you've had tennis elbow, click up there. If you've never had tennis elbow, click up there because you wanna avoid it. You don't wanna get it, it's nasty. That's Once right. you get it, it gets hard to even lift up gallons of milk, pick up coffee. You need your coffee, you're gonna watch Coffee Break Tennis right. with Matt. So make sure you take advantage of that right now. That's right, it's very important because after 40, the chances of getting tennis elbow go up a lot. So make sure you learn how to warm up correctly and don't squeeze that racket too tight. See you guys later.